Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm going to have my first proper go at a video about council finance stuff for the Hereford Voice Councillor Sessions. Ahead of tomorrow's council meeting, which is setting the council tax payments for every household in Herefordshire, I thought I'd provide a quick overview of how the council's budget's constructed and what opportunities the public have had through that process to make comments uh, on the budget and to shape its priorities. In a normal year, staff start drafting the following year's budget in around September. But this last year was a bit different because we entered the 2020 financial year in April already in a Covid first wave lockdown and facing significant unbudgeted costs and large income losses, just like every other business in the county and the country. So a major in-year savings programme was launched in June 2020, which then migrated also to become the budgeting programme for 2021. At the time, we were facing an in-year overspend of around £15 million due in Maine to the impact of COVID on council services and, and the costs uh, associated with PPE, etc. Um, and as the summer progressed, it became clear that we'd also need to plan to make cuts in the council's 2021 budget of up to £16 million. So that's around 10%, so £1 for every 10 that the council spends. And never had the council needed to build such a large savings programme in a single year, ever. So options for areas to make savings were identified over the summer and a stakeholder consultation programme commenced in October at the beginning of what became the, uh, the budgeting round. So this had to be planned to take place entirely uh, remotely and online because of Covid. In a normal year, we'd have put a public face-to-face -face sessions together and they'd have been held in all the market towns and in the city um, and in, in locations in, in the west of the county in the rural areas uh, so that people could attend without having to travel too far. And lots of different stakeholder groups were consulted at that early stage um, in online Zoom sessions and by email uh, on the options that the council had to prioritise certain services and protect others and which services we should try to avoid cutting too deeply. And we started by holding a series of parish councillor sessions organised geographically so that the parish councillors in the same area could be on the same meeting and could discuss things together. And the sessions went on to consult with local businesses, with young people, with charities and third sector organisations that work with the council and deliver services that are important to communities. And we also um, did some specific targeted work with hard to reach groups like disabled people, um, social housing tenants, um, working families who um, are really, really difficult to be able to, to talk to, um, elderly people in care. Um, so that sort of thing. Uh, the areas of priorities that were highlighted by these sessions helped us to focus the savings plans to service areas where the impact of the cuts on, on the most critical services that people really valued highly would be minimised. And the feedback allowed us also to identify which initiatives and activities in the four year county plan were important for us to continue to try and progress. In mid-December, an open online public consultation was launched for all residents and this ran through to mid-January, after which the budget was looked at in detail and in public um, by each of the council's three scrutiny committees. And at each of those meetings, members of the public could ask questions or to send in written questions um, and could also ask supplementary questions or follow-up questions that are asked without notice so the the first question gets a written answer and then you get the chance to sort of fire in a further question uh, without any notice and uh, we all have to answer it on the spot if we can. Uh, following that the draft budget then went on to a public cabinet meeting and again that was held online and streamed live and Public questions could be submitted to that and asked in, in person or, or given in writing and further supplementary questions could be posed in the room without notice to Cabinet members. And finally, the budget went to a full council meeting where more public questions and supplementary questions could be asked. 
And from this full council meeting, um, uh, the council's uh, county budget and any associated, in associated increase in council tax is agreed. Uh, and then combined with um, the parish versions of the council tax. So each parish has what's called a precept, um, but that's their equivalent of the monthly council tax. And that's what you contribute to the running of the parish that you live in. Um, and all the parishes have been going through a similar sort of low key budgeting process through the autumn in order to be able to come up with their precepts in time uh, for them to be combined with the precepts from uh, the West Mercia Police and Crime Commissioner and uh, the precept from the Hereford and Worcester Fire Authority. Um, and that's the amount of money that each household pays towards the police and the fire service in their areas. So these combined precepts are then used to work out the overall council tax payments, um, uh, which will be in each parish and each part of the county for each household, according to the council tax banding given to the property that you live in uh, by the government's uh, valuation office agency. That's not set by uh, the council here in Herefordshire. That's a central government function. And these council tax calculations are required by law to be uh, set at a further full council meeting, which is the one that we're holding tomorrow. Um, so my next video will talk a little bit more in detail about what the council spends its money on, and where that money comes from, um, and then in a little bit more detail on this year's council tax rise. Um, what it's made up of and what it's being used for. So hopefully I'll be able to answer some of the specific questions that have been asked on the Hereford Voice Facebook page um, about council tax and um, the decisions that are going to be taken tomorrow at the council meeting. OK, so I'll see if I can get that recorded a little bit later, maybe get it posted same time as this one. OK, see you later. Bye bye.